everybody, it's Ruby here today and I thought that I would do a book review for At Swim Two Birds by Flan O'Brien. This is a book that a friend of mine had recommended to me. He was reading it for an English class. I said that I liked um, surreal, sort of bizarre or odd books and so he um, loaned me this one. Um, I had never heard of this book before but when I looked it up um, it has been um, listed as one of the top books of all time, so I would probably just wasn't in the loop. Um, but I thought I would talk a little bit about this, um, do a quick review uh, for anybody who hasn't heard about it, because I think it would be up the alley of a lot of people who watch my videos. Um, the reason for this is because it's probably one of the more pretentious books that I've read. Um, not that all my viewers are pretentious, but because um, it's basically about writing. So the main character is writing about someone who is writing about characters who end up turning on him. Uh, so you have this main character um, who's a college student, um, very lazy college student who drinks a lot, um, who's writing about a guy who uh, doesn't get up um, out of bed very often, he sleeps quite a bit, uh, and after a while his characters all turn on him while he's sleeping, and they drug him and stuff. Um, it's quite a hard book to follow, um, there's not a lot of structure to it because there's a lot of like inception along those lines, there's a lot of like characters that are like sort of nested in, in stories and within stories, um, because even the stories because even the characters that are within that second layer of stories will often like refer to other people and stuff. So it can get kind of confusing. Um, there are sort of like uh, section markers where it'll say like an excerpt of such and such's writing, um, but there aren't like any chapters and there doesn't seem to be like a separation of those sections if uh, it kind of goes off topic. Um, so it can get a little bit confusing and that's also why I hesitate to really talk about that much of the plot because there's a good chance that I don't know the plot that well. Um, but in a book like this where it is sort of weird and odd, um, it, I don't think that it that you really need to know that much to really uh, enjoy it and understand it. It's written very well, like it's very aesthetically pleasing to read, there's a lot of great lines in it. Um, one of the ones that I picked up on just uh, earlier today was um, part of a trial where they put uh, the characters that are rebelling against the author, put him on trial, the end, um, and it says, answers do not matter so much as questions, said the good fairy. A good question is very hard to answer. The better the question, the harder the answer. There is no answer at all to a very good question. Um, and that was like a really cool like aphoristic like um, phrase, I guess. Like, I felt like I could print that out and like put it in a journal sort of thing, which I thought was really cool. And I love books like that where it's just written so well that um, you can pick apart like different uh, sentences in it. And that trial also reminded me of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and sort of a Kafka-esque sort of like bizarre way of going about things. So very much in that sort of genre that I really like. Um, I so I would definitely recommend it to anybody who is looking to um, try something new with their writing to see what what would be kind of cool because um, there's a lot of like expert excerpts in like um, encyclopedias and stuff too which I learned in my creative writing class um, it's sort of like a way of mixing the different sort of medias and stuff um, so if you want to experiment with writing or if you want to read sort of an experiment with writing uh, or if you just sort of like the, that sort of sort of surreal um, books I guess then I would definitely recommend this and like I said it's a slightly pretentious book um, very much up my alley for sort of highbrow writing that's sort of marketed for low brow people, I guess. Um, the quote on the back by uh, Dylan Thomas is actually, this is just the book to give your sister if she's a loud, dirty, boozy girl, which I thought was quite funny. I'm, I feel like I should tattoo that somewhere on my body. It's a, I'm a loud, dirty, boozy girl if I like this book. Um, so I would definitely give this a 5 out of 5. Really enjoyed it. Read it in only a couple of days. It's really short. 
And um, yeah, comment down below if you've heard of this book or if there are any other books that you know that are similar to this. Um, I think I might do a video more about the genre a little bit later, um, but I'm gonna sort of go through the books that I've read and, and see what I have to talk about. Um, and of course, like, subscribe, do your thing if you liked this video, and I will talk to you guys later.